Hey guys, it's Jen here with Gold Glitter Girl Crafts. So um, today I'm doing a mini journal or notebook. Um, I call it a journal, it's kind of journal size. Um, and I'm going to do a Parisian theme. Um, this is a gift for someone. And I love this paper. This is from the paper pad I showed in my uh, haul from Joann's. Um, my 12 by 12 paper pad. I think it's called Meet Me in Paris. So anyway, I decided to cover it and uh, give it the Parisian theme, which actually turned out really cute. It's the first time I've done one of these, a spiral, uh, spiral notebook in this size. So I just cut down the papers. I really love this gold paper. Um, I don't usually use such busy patterns, um, but I'm starting to really like the gold foil. Um, and I have to thank Adele over at Inky Quill for kind of turning me on to gold and glittery and things of that nature because before I started watching her, I really didn't think I would like it. Um, but after watching her for a while, um, I see how she uses the gold. She does a lot of gold glitter, of course, and hearts and little accents of gold, which really, really kind of bring everything together. And so I chose this paper um, for front and back, or the inside cover, I should say. Um, and I'm going to make a pocket on the back cover. And just a few embellishments, um, nothing crazy. Again, it's my first one. Um, I do have a video of uh, my process for doing a altered composition notebook. Um, but this is the first time doing a size like this um, with the spiral bound. Uh, but I thought it was cute. And that it's pink underneath and I can let some of the pink show through, I think was really cute. And I was going to use those gold hearts that you see um, that I got on clearance, but it just didn't come together. So you'll see um, that I, how I embellish um, with the Eiffel Tower and some stickers out of my stash. Um, so overall, I think it came out really cute. I did speed it up a little bit because it was kind of long and... Um, I really just didn't want you guys to have to sit through all that. And it's, you know, it's pretty basic um, paper and embellishment, some glue, um, a little bit of inking. And um, I use the Wink of Stella uh, glitter pen in gold, of course. And that looked really cute. Gives it just a little bit of sparkle, which hopefully you can see when, um, when I get there. And that was just me testing out some blue ink that I bought um, just to see how it looked on the white notebook paper. Um, but I'm going to cover that anyway. There it is. There's the paper pad. Very pretty. And I just used the back side of the gold paper for the first page there. And I'm going to embellish that. Might as well use it all up. And just ink the edges of that just to make it look a little bit older, a little bit aged. So um, if you hear any noise, strange noises in the background, that's my dogs. Um, they are probably not going to be quiet for very long, so I apologize in advance. I don't get too much quiet around here. Um, there's my big head in the way. So as you can tell, I am doing a voiceover. And this is my first voiceover that's this quite this long. Um, so hopefully I can do a good job with it. And I just want to also thank everybody for all their support on my other videos. I know that I'm still learning and... They're not of the greatest quality, but I really appreciate all the support and all the encouragement and help from everyone. Um, 
watching my videos and encouraging me to continue and their helpful tips. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully I'll get better. I really enjoy the crafting and making things. I always have, um, but I've never shown it really <laughs> other than to a few friends and family. Um, so this is quite different for me. And as you guys probably know, I'm basically a scrapbooker. Um, have been for many years. Um, but I really enjoy venturing off and doing um, this type of paper crafting. It's fun and I especially love giving it as gifts. And uh, I think this one turned out pretty well. It is a little long, so I apologize. It's like I said, I tried to edit it down a little bit. Um, just trimming up. Um, some of the cut aparts that I'm going to use as embellishments. I also like that pink background paper. I thought the pink would look really nice with a little bit of the cover that's showing. And the gold foil on the Eiffel Tower really brings out the gold in the cover. And I really need a new paper trimmer. I can't stand looking at that one. But it does the job. I have a couple of them, but um, I don't seem to have one that worked really, really well. If you guys have any recommendations for a really good paper trimmer, um, please leave that below. I'd appreciate that. And there I am using my art glitter glue which I'm loving. It's doing a really good job. And I'm a little bit messy with it, but that's okay. And there's my back uh, pocket, which that was not from the paper pad. Uh, that was from a different paper pad. As you can kind of see me flipping through on the other side there. Um, but I thought it was cute, and I thought the person would like that particular paper. I inked it up a little bit with some pink. Um, I believe that's the pink from the Dilutions that I showed in my haul. And this paper also, I believe, is from the 6x6. Six six. And I thought that it went well with the Paris theme. And because it's not a huge journal, a very thick journal, I just did the one page um, of embellishment for a divider, and I didn't do any tabs on this one um, because I think it's going to be more of a journal instead of a notebook. Um, so I just skipped the tabs on this. I just did a little embellishing. And I'll probably do more um, on another one. I don't have any other notebooks at the moment. And I might even try my hand at making um, the junk journal or any of the um, journal inserts that Jan had been showing. Um, I really like those and I haven't, I did one insert for my notebook, traveler's notebook with um, cardstock and that was a little too bulky and it didn't stay together well. So I think I might try the no sew method of the one that Jan had showed and see how that turns out when I get a chance. I'm doing a couple projects right now, a couple swaps. So um, here I am just inking up these edges, and I really like that. I think that particular um, tag, I believe, was from Pinterest, which they have a ton of really cute Paris-themed artwork. And that one I really liked. And the one behind it, the pink one that you see at the top of the page, um, top of the screen, I should say, that was already pink. Um, I just lightened it a little bit on my computer before I printed it. And I was going to seal it all with Mod Podge, but um, I didn't seal these particular pages. I sealed the back cover when I put a tag over the um, 
scanner label. I didn't want that to show. So I covered it um, with a cute tag and I decoupaged the whole entire back so that um, it'll keep it maybe a little bit cleaner um, and it will seal that page in because you know the outside of a book normally gets a lot of wear and tear. Um, so I did decoupage that, but I didn't do the front because I didn't want it to dull the, um, any of the gold foiling. Um, so this is my entire process except for the very end, I believe. Um, I turned the camera off and I had made a couple more just little tags or bookmarks um, and to stick in that pocket there that I'm showing. Um, I show the one tag that I made, but I made, I just had some scraps left and before I kind of ended for the night, I just wrapped some cardstock um, in washi and punched a hole and I just stuck them in there as little bookmarks. Um, and everything else though, you'll see here um, from my process. And that, if you can see, says you are awesome. And I believe uh, some of those little um, embellishments that I glued on, those came from a Fuse um, kit, I believe, that I've gotten quite a while ago. So they're not paper. They're kind of like the plastic coated paper, if you know what I'm talking about, the type that you use your Fuse tool with. Um, so those look really nice. And they glue down just like paper. So. You don't have to use them with your fuse. Um, and I had those on my desk, so I thought that that looked good right there. And this page turned out really cute, just some simple washi. Even though it's not um, Paris exactly, I thought the cute bike kind of went with it. And of course butterflies, you know, butterflies kind of go with everything. The colors went well together. And I figured I would just kind of see how it went. And um, it actually turned out really cute. I think I will probably try that again. Just do two together. And I really like the way that kind of finished that page and finished the book, so to speak. The last page of the book. So I think that's almost it. I think the little tag is next. I hope you guys can hear me okay. Like I said, my other voiceover was just a few minutes and my voice did come back um, somewhat. <laughs> I really don't like my voice on tape, but we'll see how this comes out. punching a hole in this tag. There's my crocodile. Again, using the Dilusions uh, inking, ink pads, I'm sorry, the mini ink pads that I just got on my haul. And those came out really cute. I like that they stack too, convenient. So as you can tell, I don't have much room on my desk. <laughs> as you can see, it's pretty messy. Maybe you could see the rest of it. <laughs> Very messy. I seem to get, I clean it up for a little while. And then as soon as I start working on projects, I tend to not put things away. And so even though I'm organized to a point, which you guys probably experience the same thing, once I'm actually working on something, I just, all organization just goes out the window. I'm just finishing that tag. And as you can see, there's the back that's decoupaged. And I'm going to add a little bit of embellishment to the front. to figure out where to place it. And these stickers I've had in my stash for a long time. I don't remember the brand name, but I'm sure you guys have seen them at the store. They're kind of a 
Paris themed sewing type of old old time I don't know what exactly you'd call it but kind of reminds me of like the early turn of the century type things I'm just trimming down the edges to make it smooth and everything is adhering very nicely and that I also had for my stash there's another butterfly try to tie in the butterflies there and I had the gold foiling and I thought that went pretty well and of course pink even though it's a hot pink but that's okay make it stand out a little bit it's kind of hard when you don't have things at all coordinate um, to try to make them fit together. <laughs> I kind of have a hard time with that sometimes. And I don't typically buy k kits that go together. Um, I do, I am uh, currently enrolled in the hip kit uh, monthly subscription, so I'm liking that. But that is a Project Life kit, so I um, don't really use that for this type of project but I think overall everything that I found kind of goes together pretty well and I think the person that I'm making it for will enjoy it and here's the marker or glitter stick I should say I really love that I'm gonna get that in some more colors I think that um, not sure if that's the gold that might be the clear glitter actually uh, I think I was looking at the gold one. I think I'm going to get it in gold and possibly um, a color because it's just so easy and it really does add a shimmer um, without getting glitter everywhere um, because I am typically, I typically make a mess with glitter um, when I try to sprinkle a little bit on a page. So this gives a nice little dimension and a shimmer without actually using glitter. And there goes my dogs trying to get my attention while I'm doing this. Grabbing stuff out of my room. Come here, you. See, I knew they wouldn't be quiet that long. Okay, so we're almost done. I don't know if you could see that little bit of shimmer on top of the gold foil. Makes it stand out just a little bit. You could see it in person. And I'm just highlighting a little bit of that and the edges of the embellishments. You can probably hear my dogs in the background. They want me to play. I'm trying to record this before the kids get home, so... Because as you all know, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> there is no quiet with children around. Just little drawing little hearts, just a little faint little embellishment. And that remember um, is a clear acetate piece. Um, and the glue does dry clear so you really can't see it. Sorry, my hair got in the way there again. I'm just highlighting the word. The bicycle, the bicycle's really cute. I just don't know if, you, if the camera can pick that up or not. Just uh, going over it a little bit. And that back pocket is where I put a few more tags. But that's about it, really. Um, it was a very simple project. I enjoyed it. Um, I hope the person getting it enjoys it. Uh, and they can use it. Yeah, so that's about it. So let me know what you guys think and maybe what you want to see still. And thanks for joining me. Bye.